didn't see you there. Uh, I just woke up and just feeling like I'm going to have some breakfast. And right now I'm just cutting out some grasses and that's all. There's nothing to do after all this. So I'm just going to have some pop tarts. That's all. It's just don't say strawberries for you to be my challenge with day bread in that night. And it, yeah, we did. Hold on. A, a paper? Someone leave a paper in a pop tart box? Well. Let's take a look. What? Real Chucky cheese for creepy reviews. No, I'm not going there. Now, what would I need to review this? A real Chucky cheese? It's from that uh, a strange creepy pasta story in the creepypasta.com website or something like that, and it's mostly just. Based on the Chuck E. Cheese restaurant, but with this animatronic named Chuck E. Cheese, which I used to remember in my childhood, which still opens, well, maybe not open since the quarantine, but the restaurant of Chuck E. Cheese still lives on. But uh, this creepy pasta story of the real Chuck E. Cheese is mostly just a short one, just about this kid who wants to go to the restaurant so badly since he only shops. Sauce it in, in commercials every time, which I used to back in my time, and which go there as well. And his mom lets him lets him come, well lets him go there. And so um, yeah, then that time everything was seems fine until he saw a open saw a door a little bit creak open. He heard some voices coming in. It's mostly just thing about the animatronic. Or rather, just a mouse. Well, until he gets caught and kidnaps inside the room and meets with this strange guy who are, that we don't know, and he gets attacked by the this strange-looking mutated rat or mouse, and the kid escapes in advance, and that guy would never be hurt again as, as he is mostly dead. And so the kid escapes, and the news reports on the a mutated. Rat escapes out of the Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, that story seems bad a bit. So, I'm going to review this then, just in case if I have so many explanations or theory stuff. Well, I think I already did. That the real Chuck E. Cheese story is mostly a short one, but it's mostly. I already told the story, but. Of course, the kid just want to go there so badly until he mostly saw something that he doesn't like. But something about those two workers in this storage or this parts and service room. I'm talking about this animatronic or rather just a real Chuck E. Cheese. Which they're working on is mostly, uh, they can't control it. And they're saying something about testing, one or anything like that. So I believe. One of those is a scientist, and one of them is like an employee worker, or they're probably both scientists working on the, and working on this mouth to become mutated and become the real Chuck E. Cheese. So the company just wants to entertain more to the kids and families, cause like how they there was a bit problem that the kids always see them as robots, of course, and they decided to want to make the make them look realistic. Like how we saw in the commercials of their animation CGI looks like that. So decided to uh, work their best to create a real Chuck E. Cheese by uh, experimenting on a mouse or a rat to become, become mutated if they would try to make it look a bit large to make it look like Chuck E. Cheese. But that would be difficult you know because it doesn't have the same brain or anything like Chuck E. Because that'll take some time for the to experiment the brain to make it look smart or anything. 
but that doesn't work, so there was like an outbreak since this mutated rat killed those two workers, or scientists, and managed to escape. And that's odd because I don't know if there was exactly a lot of people in that restaurant, like a lot of kids and families, but in the story when I listen to it's mostly just, I think it's just only just those two, if they're only the first guests. I don't know. So, that's the creepy review thing. Because, I don't know why this story has been made and why it sounds so bad. Like, a mutated brat. And it escapes out of the restaurant and becomes a real Chucky. No. Not a thing, no. Because, this. Really? A story of the real chunk of cheese, but with a mutated mouse. Of course, it might sound terrifying by using a mouse to become mutated, become the real Chucky, but escaped out of the restaurant, but it was never caught. Of course, there could be some way for them to kill it with a sniper. So, that's it I got for this review on this creepy file or something. Well, mostly on the creepy. Creepy pasta. Because creepy pasta is kind of alright, but sometimes there are a little bit problems too. Uh, there ain't that much good, uh, good terrifying stories or something. Just these are things I listen to on Mr. Creepy Pasta. Oh well. If there could be some way, there will ever be a true creepy pasta stories or something to make them much more terrifying. And so. That's all I got. Even there was like a little bit more creepy pastas of Chucky e. Cheese and YouTube. So I'm like gonna review one of them. But there is one of my things I'm reviewing is by Mr. Nightmare. Who mostly made a good story, if it could be just a malfunctioning animatronic. Make it similar to Tony's phrase of setting animatronic. Just going to uh, kill this one worker for no reason without killing the others. Well, I think it is. Well, that's all I got. Hope you enjoy it. And why I had to record this video right here if I would have just go downstairs and do it on the, my computer? I don't know. Just kind of bored. Since there's nothing to do since the quarantine. Well. And this will be a big problem for me to do a lot of videos so quickly while, while I'm in quarantine. Oh well, that's all I got. Hope you enjoy it. This is Lord of Flames here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye folks, have a wonderful day. Now, where do we go for this little one?